And that's what I want to tell people that are listening that are, want, don't even, you're going to have those feelings from time to time about what you should be doing because you see somebody else doing it, whatever it is. Just know that that's natural, but don't listen to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's remind, I want to reach for my phone here because I took a screenshot of a quote. It's reminding me of, I took it this morning. It, it says, uh, people hate their own art because it looks like they made it. They think if they get better, <laughs> so true. They think if they get better, it will stop looking like they made it. A better person made it. But there's no level of skill beyond which you stop being you. You hate the most valuable thing about your art. That's so good. Mm-hmm. And it's, you can apply that to yourself, mm-hmm. the way you look. How many women hate their bodies? I can't tell you how many times I'll do something with a woman and we'll go shopping and she'll say, Oh, I couldn't wear this. I just, it doesn't, my body. What mm-hmm. people limit themselves in every area of their life like that mm-hmm. about themselves. And, and that is what makes you, you, your body is your body and love it for what it's done for you, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah. kind of, it's kind of the same way with your art. No, but it is hard to look at other artists that I think are so much better than me. And then I just tell myself, stop. That's what I'm saying. Just, you're going to think that way sometimes. You just have to just shut that voice off. It's Mm -hmm. not going. That's not God talking. Yeah. No, that's mind. That's the rational mind trying its best to do its thing, but it's very misguided and out of its depth when we're talking about judging and feeling art. Absolutely. 